mind y'all, the, the from says big boy. Who the fuck big boy is, but apparently it's somebody's phone that she didn't stole. You know, and she says, hey Dory, I will be using this email for now. Lock me in, love mom. And then she has a fucking signature, bitch. That signature says, the great thick bitch finna eat your bread sticks. Now I know you lying. Be quiet for here y'all go. Here y'all go. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this Angel League TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like. Of course, y'all already know story time. As you can see by the title, we are getting into more details of my mom's condition. But more so of course talking about how her mental issues like mental health could really like destroy you so before we get into the video um i want you to first of all hit that like button because i need you to like the video because i need you to just like the video so go ahead and do that as well as hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and also if you haven't heard i am launching my own cosmetic line called angelic touch cosmetics so if you like makeup like me and you want to be a part of the crew um go ahead and sign up today at angelic touch cosmetics i have a brand ambassador form that's on the website in case you know you guys want to um be a part of the team like i said because i am looking for brand ambassadors to help me launch my line and i just i need y'all faces okay i need y'all faces and i need to be putting this makeup in y'all mailboxes that way we can get this stuff going so go ahead and do that and also follow me on my social medias not only just my social medias but also my business social medias as well um i'll put that all down there as uh or down here or up here whichever the one um, i choose first so that's about it y'all so um i guess we can just go ahead and get right into the video okay so last story time um we left off i explained to you guys how my mom's boyfriend got arrested so this is the same guy who the mama ass all of that so he got arrested um after they ended up fleeing to texas and that was that so mom texted me and i, I think i showed y'all the text messages in the last video just showing y'all like what she had said whenever he initially got arrested and stuff like that so at this time my mom she was homeless because i told y'all in my last story time as well that she got kicked out of the um, women's shelter because she was accused of stealing which she actually did in fact steal um, a phone but I didn't realize it at that time but I found out later because she ended up actually admitting it to me like she she but would do that like after some time go by like she would like admit certain things that she may have told me or may have done or something like that and like she would just randomly admit it and like she'd just be talking just be talking saying shit and just well oh, yeah you know I stole that phone you know what I'm saying like she that's how I found out eventually that she stole the phone so she started hanging at this Waffle House, guys. She found a Waffle House in Beaumont, and y'all know Waffle House is open 24-7, so I'm pretty sure the reason why she went there is because she had no place to go, and she was probably just hanging out in there, not, you know, buying shit because she ain't had no money. Like, she just probably was sit sitting in there. So she got acquainted with one of the workers at Waffle House. It was a guy, of course, a stranger, of course. You know, she, she liked talking to strangers, y'all. So she got acquainted with this this guy and she started using his phone to call me to like you know check in with me because at this point like even though she had this iphone she still couldn't like talk to me and she didn't have the iphone for long y'all i think she probably ended up selling it because after so long like she stopped texting me from the iphone it wasn't even like that long at all so she would call me from this guy's number and was like oh hey you know i met a met a guy such so and so and he let me use my, use um, his phone and I'm hanging out at this Waffle House. And then she started talking about how she was going to try to get a job there and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, okay, okay. And me, I don't know where she's sleeping at. I don't know exactly like how she's moving around or whatever at this point because 
although she would ask me to like send for her like she would say i'll post text messages but she would like try to like get me to send for her and buy tickets and stuff like that for her and i actually did buy a ticket for her at some point but she ended up missing the bus and it's crazy like how you miss the bus like you homeless you ain't got nowhere to go you ain't got no place to be but you miss the bus like i still to this day just understand how she missed that bus but it was wasn't no type of ticket where you could just like um change it or whatever it was a bus ticket so bus tickets is either you gonna buy the bus it's cheap as it is so they ain't gonna you know go through all that work trying to change on tickets and stuff like that so it was a flex bus actually it's this new service called flex i think um uh, if i'm pronouncing that right or saying that right but it was super super cheap so i think it was like seven seven dollars maybe like ten dollars to get her out there but she ended up missing it so um of course she finished hanging out with the guy and it was not just one guy i guess the guy had a friend as well and he introduced the friend to my mom and you know she was talking to me from different numbers like uh, 409 is um beaumont's area code so at this point i would just answering any anybody number because i just knew that it probably was my mama because i knew she had no phone and she she would just pick strangers phones you know just pick random strangers to ask them to use their phone she ain't give a damn so you know i mean she knew my number by heart obviously so she was able to call me and i was able to talk to her at least once a day like at least one time a day so then she started um, telling me how, like, what the living situation was. So the guy that she met at Waffle House, he, apparently he was kind of homeless too, I guess, um, because he had, like, met her, or uh, not met her, but he brought her to in uh, a vacant apartment. And so he was, they were just chilling in a vacant apartment with him and his friends and shit. Like, I can hear the people in the background. So, like, I know she's not, like, by herself you know so i'm just like wow like you niggas really chilling in a vacant apartment like dead ass but okay you know she she was doing her she was grown ass woman I, i've already did my best and i didn't want to send for her a second time um like i know y'all probably wonder like why didn't you just buy her another ticket i didn't do that because at this point like i was over it and she wasn't really stressing about it either she was just like don't worry about it i'm gonna um, try to find a way up there you know i don't want you to keep spending money and stuff like that because i was also sending her money from time to time as well because she didn't have no money you know she had to eat and shit so she just ended up staying out there so she's telling me how um, the guys that she's around is doing drugs. And so I think she called him Mojo. If I'm, I don't know, I might be wrong. My baby, he by the door, excuse him. But I think it's called Mojo. Um, it's some, some type of synthetic weed um, she was doing. And I just thought that's all she was doing at that time. Come to find out later, she was doing a lot more, but we're going to get to that. We're going to just give me a second but at this time she was like yeah you know they they doing um synthetic weed or whatever and um this one guy had dropped his sack of weed and i took it and i'm just like okay like what the fuck why would you take it but she's like yeah girl i took it she just like really like just talking about the shit like it's just cool like it's just normal like ain't like as if she's not in an abandoned or vacant apartment so she's like yeah i took it and you know I, I, I might end up selling it or whatever to make me a couple of dollars and i'm just like oh okay and i mean i didn't know what what to say honestly um i could i i could have said like no or whatever but if y'all have been following these stories it's not much that you can tell my mama like to not do in this point in time like you you can only tell her so much she's not gonna listen she when when somebody is mentally unstable it's nothing that nobody else could do to stop a person from thinking the way that they're thinking or from doing the things that they're doing unless they are like medicated and being actually treated but at this point my mom wasn't being treated she wasn't on no type of medication she wasn't on anything she was just out there and then she slipped up and one time told me how she actually tried it she was just like yeah you know i tried it before she just said it in the most casual way y'all she was like yeah you know i tried it before and um you know i, I don't remember what she said like how it made it made her feel or anything like that but i just know that she admitted that she actually tried it before so i'm just like okay i'm thinking to my mom my, i'm in my mind i'm just like she should not be doing this like she a grown-ass woman but she still kind of sound, sounded somewhat sane in a way so it's just like i knew she was capable she, i knew she was aware of the things that she was doing 
it wasn't like she was just out there just not you know like just doing crash dummy ass shit i mean she was doing crash dummy ass shit but she was still vigilant like she was aware of everything that she was doing so at least i felt like she was and then you know all of these phones that she's calling me from y'all she hooked up with some guy i don't know how it probably was more than one i don't know but she hooked up with one of the guys and um was would like put them on the phone with me like i'll be talking to her you know just telling her about my day or whatever just be having like a regular ass conversation and she be like hold on let me let me uh uh, let you talk to somebody let me uh let you uh hear somebody voice or i want you to meet so and so and it will always be these men and i'm just like i'm on the phone i'm just like hi how you doing and they're like oh, i'm doing good and this and that. then one one of the guys she was like yeah he gonna be your daddy and i'm just like first of all no dennis is the only person that's gonna be ever be my daddy like my daddy is dead and gone and ain't coming back so what the fuck are you talking about and so that was like irritating because like you're putting all these random ass men on the phone with me i don't know who the fuck they are i don't care to know who they are like i'm just here to talk to you so that right there kind of like threw me off because it's like why would I want to talk to men that you just hooked up with that you just met five seconds ago like why would you be allowing these people to say oh they gonna be my daddy or, or like it's just stupid stuff just real real stupid so um she would after um so long like she didn't have the iPhone anymore so she would go back to like going to different libraries in the area to text me from the little texting apps because obviously like you go on a computer and like actually text from the from the text now app or whatever whatever she, it was it was an app or a software that she would go to the library and talk to me on so she would like check in with me like hey you know i'm, I'm at the library just wanted to let you know i'm okay whatever because i she knew i was like concerned because i knew she wasn't actually stable she wasn't really staying anywhere she was just like you know dipping around just going from one place to the other so she would like do that frequently, like just check in with me. So one day I got a call from um, some random number. I thought it was her, cause you know, I told you she would call me from a random ass number. I thought it was her, but it actually wasn't. It was a man and it was a man looking for her. And he was like, uh, yeah, um, is is Maisha? Or I don't know if he called her by her real name or, or I'm pretty sure it was Maisha, maybe her nickname, one of the two. And um, I was just like, no, she doesn't live here. So yeah, um, I would get these random calls. And so whenever I, I would get the calls, I would actually, um, and they would like be looking for mom. I would, I would, I would tell them like, you know, um, she's not around. I'll let her know that you called. And so whenever my mom would finally text me, I would let her know like, hey, mom, somebody was looking for you. And she would reply and say, um, I'll post a screenshot. But she was just like, oh yeah, that's one of my clients clients where you work at what, what what type of work you do that data, data entry like assistant like what, what are you doing because i'm confused like what client what what are you talking about and y'all i already knew like from just a text message i just i just already knew it wasn't no regular client type of shit like it was a client all right but bitch you know what y'all know y'all know what was going on so i'm just i was disgusted i'm just like bruh like you really doing this shit again because y'all know back a couple of years back or was it a couple of years back yeah probably at this point probably like a year or so after that uh, my mom called herself like doing that type of shit low-key in a way in houston whenever she like started tripping and stuff at one point if y'all been following these stories y'all know this part right here ain't nothing new to my mama like she would like she was doing shit like that so it wasn't a surprise to me at all so once upon a time she met brandon and um i'm i mentioned the brandon guy in my last story time because i told y'all this guy was the guy is a, a a big reason of why she's in the predicament that she's in today and when i mean today i mean like she's in prison right now and so going to brandon i, I mentioned to y'all my last story time that brandon was also a year younger than me so Brandon was a young, young boy, okay? And so my mom had told me about him. I don't, I can't remember like how it came about, but she told me that she met a guy. So my mom met this guy named Brandon and she, I, I forgot how she introduced him to me. I really forgot, but she was basically like, yeah, girl, I met, I met a new guy. He's a little younger though. And whenever she said a little younger, like I thought maybe like 
maybe early 30s or you know some shit like that because at this point my mama was like maybe like 43 44 no it has to be 44 because she's only been in jail two years well almost two years so yeah she was like 44 or something like that and so um i was i didn't think anything of him like i mean she grown she could talk to whoever the fuck she wanted to talk to you know as long as he's like 18 and older like i mean well not even really just 18 or older because 18 it's fucking young to me but i just i thought nothing of it she a grown-ass woman she could date whoever the fuck she wanted to date she want to be a cougar let her be a cougar whoever whatever who who am i to say that she can't be a cougar you know what i'm saying and then not only did she tell me you know about the guy but like shortly after she told me about him she was trying to get him getting me to be okay with her bringing him to my house like she was like yeah I'm, i'll show y'all the screenshot but basically she was like yeah me and bae need a vacation or me and bae need to get away first of all what the fuck are y'all vacationing from because you ain't got nothing you ain't got a job you ain't got nothing you bitch you are on vacation okay you've been on vacation since you walked from your life in 2013 was it 2013 yeah it was 2013 no it was 2014 that's when my mama first started all of this crazy ass shit so like you been on vacation since 2014 what are you talking about but okay 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 she asked me that shit and i'm just like no like i don't i don't i can't remember if i actually responded or whatever to it but all i know is i wasn't fucking having it like no he can't come over to my house like i don't know who this guy is i got a lot of kids i'm not just bringing you know anybody you know any stranger in my house like no no ma'am no we're not doing that at all no it's not happening so, you know, she understood or whatever, and they was on about their day, you know, they was in Beaumont. Supposedly, the guy had some type of property or some type of land in Beaumont, but he couldn't live there. Like, I don't know, probably was a lie, but they were living in a tent, she said. I remember that she said they were, um, he had like a big, nice tent, supposedly, that they were sleeping in. And, oh my God, I can't believe I just remembered this shit, bitch. I literally just remembered something I did not put in. I didn't even think to put that in there. But what made me think about what I'm about to tell y'all is because of the tent. It was a tent for me, bitch. Okay. <laughs> so she told me that they were like in a tent or whatever and like saying how they're like sleeping together and shit like that. And she also told me she was on her cycle at this time. Is if 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 you if, if, if if you a little squeamish in the stomach, I'm gonna need for you to just like fast forward, maybe like 30 seconds. But basically, she was saying how it was getting it on or whatever in the tent, and he ate her out while she was on her cycle. And why don't I'm decided to share this with me? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that my mom would have shared with me throughout this whole entire experience that I do not understand why she shared it with me. Because first of all, I'm your daughter. Second of all, I'm not your best friend. I'm your daughter. And third of all, I'm your motherfucking daughter. Like, I don't want to know none of that. Like, do you think I'm over here telling you my sex life? Like, I'm not doing that. So, I, I never understood that. But my mom just felt so comfortable with telling me these things like she wouldn't tell anybody else these things but me like she would talk to my grandma you know she wouldn't tell her those things she would tell me all of these things like all of she's so comfortable with just and i mean i guess it's a good thing but in a way it's kind of like at the end of the day it kind of makes me put me in a weird ass position because i'm your daughter like what am i supposed to do with this information besides look at you like you just a nasty ass person like I'm sorry, I, it's one thing to to have sex on your cycle, but it's another thing to actually put your mouth down there during that process. Like, boy, boy you don't grow. It's, it's, it's that, that, that shit there. I don't know. I don't know. It, I don't fucking know. So, keep in mind, y'all. Keep in fucking mind. She just told me that she was on her cycle, all right? So, let's fast forward to maybe about... A week and a half later maybe two weeks I'll, I'll give it two weeks okay i'll give it that she told me and my y'all this is two weeks after alan went to jail okay not two weeks after she met brandon but two weeks after alan went to jail that's when all of this started happening or whatever and so she just told me that she had sex on her cycle or whatever and then all of a sudden she's telling me that she thinks she's pregnant or that she knows she's pregnant because she's been eating a lot and because her stomach has been growing and she said the baby was for brandon so she would send me pictures y'all she was she would be on the phone with me 
and she would be telling me this. She was like, yeah, and you know, I think it's, it's no, she didn't say I think it is. She said, I know it's for Brandon. And she was like, uh, yeah, it's for Brandon and we're gonna name her so-and-so. And again, this whole pregnancy, phantom pregnancy type of thing is again, nothing new to me because if you've been following me, you know, this is not the first time that my mom, that my mom has faked a pregnancy or said that she thought she was pregnant or my mama said that she was Janet Jackson's daughter at one point, y'all. I don't know if y'all know this or I don't know if y'all been following to know this, but one of these story times back in, back then in this series, I told y'all my mom had wrote me a letter in jail saying that she was pregnant. She was six months pregnant. That's what she told me. She also told me that she was Janet Jackson's daughter and that my grandma was paid to take care of her and that her dad was L. DeBarge or the, one of the DeBarge brothers that um, Janet Jackson supposedly was messing with it back in the day. Like some crazy ass fucking shit. But that's what brings me to the schizophrenic like type of shit because this ain't no bipolar. This ain't no depression. Like you're literally like making things up. From It goes from the fake pregnancies to telling me that she's like i told y'all that a couple story time well a long a lot of story times ago because this has been a long ass series but towards like the beginning or kind of beginning is she told me that my, my, my dad was alive so it just brings all of these things back to me i'm just like wow like she's just not bipolar she's just not a depressed person she just it's just not that it's something stronger than that because she's literally have she has these these things in her head that she feels is true and and believes it and so i was just like oh okay she was like asking me she was like you know what how did you feel whenever you was pregnant and y'all know y'all know i didn't pregnant a lot of motherfucking times i've been pregnant more times than i got kids bitch and like i knew i know like how the shit is so i was just like first of all alan just was arrested two weeks ago if that and you're telling me you're pregnant for brandon sweetheart it takes more than two weeks to get pregnant and if you were pregnant right now the baby damn sure would be for brandon because you were just sleeping with alan not even two weeks ago so and then you say you was on your cycle so like i just knew it was it was a bunch of baloney okay so um and then i um this you know happened i out I, I don't know if i mentioned um she sent me pictures but i think i did but y'all saw the pictures and screenshots so that happened and she also started writing like under alan's post like saying she loved him and like weird shit like mine she's with brandon okay with brandon right and she's saying these things so i'm just like what the fuck shake this first of all this man beat the fuck out of you second of all he's in jail for beating the fuck out of you so you should be fucking happy that he's not out to beat the fuck out of you again like i was confused and i post those screenshots as well because she was legit like legit talking about how she loves him and misses him and stuff like that and i was real confused because she seemed so happy with this new guy brandon so i'm just like okay just fuck fuck brandon or what like what's going on i'm confused and then i got an email from my mom which i don't know why she decided to email me but i post an email so y'all can look at it before I say what I'm gonna say. Now, let me just actually pull it up on my phone so I can read it along with y'all because bitch, I said no the fuck she is not for real, but bitch, she was dead ass serious. Mind y'all, this the from says big boy. Who the fuck big boy is, but apparently it's somebody's phone that she didn't stole who had an email with a first and last name as big boy. And two, as y'all can see, that's my email. And then it, the title says new email. And she says, hey, Dory, I will be using this email for now. Lock me in, love mom. And then she has a fucking signature, bitch. That signature says, the great thick bitch finna eat your beret sticks. Now I know you lying. Girl, I, I've seen that shit, bitch. And I was just like oh no oh no like you can't be for real for real you can't be for real for real and not only that she was also posting like weird fucking pictures of her looking 
crazy as hell like my mama and her right mind would never get on camera looking like this like my mama and her normal mind would never 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 be seen like this but bitch she was looking up girl look, let me just i'm gonna let y'all be the judge and i'm gonna just show y'all but if y'all look at these pictures like one like okay the first picture she looks super super dark like my mom is not that dark y'all like my mom is not dark at all my mom is probably like a, a, a a tone darker than me but she is not that dark and i know the picture was probably like uh, like dark as it is so it didn't make it no better but it, the darkness in this picture bitch like that's how i knew my mom had been in the sun walking the streets that's how she was before whenever she was walking the streets in houston bitch she was dark as hell because she was outside in the heat in the sun just walking on her feet all day doing god knows what and then this other picture bitch like what the fuck is this like i ain't even like look listen listen i'm not i'm not don't roast my mama y'all like i'm posting these pictures not to be funny but i'm, I'm posting these pictures so that y'all can see how literally a mental disorder could literally destroy a person that could it could destroy a person's from a person's inside to their outsides bitch this is not normal first of all it looks like she got her leave out out and then she looked like she got some some braid in the hair in her hair that she just put it's just a mess it's just a mess and then she um posted a video as well i'm gonna find try to find a video um that she posted and she was i don't i couldn't understand what the fuck she was saying but she just sounded like she was on something i'll post the video and, so, and show y'all what the fuck i meant um in the hospital <clears throat> me and bae but <clears throat> at any rate i'm about to get out he's not he suffers from ptsd so please pray for him he's such a uh, has such a good heart and a sweet soul um at any rate please be in prayer for brandon allen and myself thank you and then you know she posted her picture with brandon okay so um yeah she posted she had a picture with him and, you know they just living his young ass like you know what i'm saying she would also say things like oh they're getting married her and brandon are married and stuff like that like posted on facebook and all type of weird shit and then alan be, had the nerve to fucking write under my post like under my post after you stole from me because he he eventually he got out so I'll, I'll post post what he um he said but 